Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my overall battery experience on iOS 14. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Uh, so the device I've been using iOS 14 on for the last week has been my iPhone XS Max. Uh, so that will give you an idea. So I wasn't using like an iPhone 7 or an older iPhone device. This is still relatively new as just the iPhone 11 Pro uh, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are the latest versions of the iPhone. So this is basically the second latest iPhone. Now taking a look at my overall battery life and my overall battery usage, we can go into settings and then we can go into battery. And now we can see my overall statistics of my battery life. Uh, so you can see that it's been uh, pretty decent, nothing to write home about, but it does uh, kind of drain a little bit faster than I would like. Now I am able to get through the day, but if I have heavy usage, such as emails always coming in, uh, lots of uh, notifications and lots of Twitter usage and just social media usage, that's when it goes uh, pretty bad. So you can see this is just my overall usage. So we have that screen on time and that screen off and you can see which apps I'm using the most uh, out of all of these. So you can see just the overall detail breakdown and it just shows you uh, the activity and now we can actually have the battery usage so you can see how much uh, battery usage of Instagram uh, and YouTube and music and just how uh, it is interacting with the overall battery life as well so you can get a somewhat detailed breakdown of how I use my device right here. Now you can also take a look at the overall last 10 days. Taking a look at the last 10 days we have all this detailed information here which is very pertinent to say the least so we can see all the battery battery usage, uh, all the battery charge cycles, the average screen time on, screen time off, and you can see when I had the latest charge and everything like that. Now if we do take a look at my battery health, you can see that the maximum capacity of my iPhone XS Max is 93%. So you can see that uh, no matter how much I charge it, it will only charge 93% of the battery. And 93% is the new 100% because again, with lithium ion batteries, the battery usage gets worse uh, the more times you charge it and the more usage. So uh, that's also noted as a fact of iPhones. Now it's really interesting to see the reaction to the battery life. It's been pretty polarizing. So people are either saying that the battery life is really good or really bad. So it just certainly depends on your usage with this iOS 14 beta. So some are actually saying that the battery is draining super fast and others are saying that the battery is perfect. So it definitely depends on your usage. So here, for example, this says that the iOS 14 drains the battery real quick. Uh, and then someone else is saying not on my iPhone. Uh, so it actually depends on your iPhone device because I definitely have been hearing a lot of people say that the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the battery drains super fast, but on other devices such as the iPhone XS Max, uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, and whereas on the iPhone 10, it's also been good. So it definitely depends on your device. So now another user is claiming that more battery life info on iOS 14 and also eight hours screen time. So you can see that we have this video right here that you can also take a look at and just see how uh, the battery life is as well. So this is very interesting that a lot of people are just having different battery uses uh, just depending on their device. So here's another Twitter user claiming that they feel like the battery life on iOS 14 is better than normal, which is surely a first, and that the battery life on the betas is usually the biggest reason not to upgrade for daily use. So that's basically the roundup on the battery life for iOS 14. A lot of people are either saying it's really good, really bad, certainly depends on your device you're using and how you use your device. It's not just a uh, systemic thing for all iPhones and every iOS device on iOS 14. It just depends on which device you're using and your usage. So hopefully you enjoyed this video on the iOS 14 battery life roundup. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Also smash that subscribe button as well. And be sure to check out all of the videos on my channel. Be sure to also leave a comment down below on your your battery life for iOS 14. I'm super interested to know. And also be sure to check out my social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, my username there is AppleCritics. And be sure to also subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.